Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News. I am Rithina Seje. This is the latest this hour. Now, Uganda National Examinations Board has released the results of the Uganda Advanced Certificate of Education examinations sat last year. Over 100,000 students sat for the exams at more than 1,900 examination centers throughout the country. The release was resided over by Education and Sports Minister Janet Museveni at the office of the president in Kampala. The release of the A-level results comes three weeks after those of A-level were made public. Head teachers will be expected to pick their school's result forms and slips later in the day from the headquarters of UNEB in Intinda. Moving on, the Imam of Champi Simas Gid No Sheikh Mohammed Mutumba, 26 years, and his bride, Richard Mushabe alias Shabra Nabukeda, who are facing charges of carnal knowledge against the Yod of Nature before Kayunga Court were granted bail Wednesday from Intanjo Prison, where they had spent nearly two months. The Mkono Chief Magistrate Juliet Hatanga presiding over the case granted them bail and their lawyer their lawyers led by Isaac Simakade asked court to allow his clients battle the case against them when they are outside court out of prison I beg your pardon now Simakade told court that Mutumba is a volunteer preacher at his Champis mosque and he'll report back to court since he is a responsible citizen <laughs> We now move on to more stories making news across the continent. In Egypt, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi paid his respects Wednesday at the military funeral of former leader Hasni Mubarak, whose three decades of strong arm rule ended in the Arab Spring protests of 2011. The presidential office declared three days of mourning for the veteran head of state dubbed a modern day Farah, who died aged 91 in a Cairo military hospital Tuesday after years spent in relative solution. Mubarak's mixed legacy is that of an autocrat who ran a police state, employed emergency powers and rigged elections, and of a guarantor of stability who battled Islamic militants and kept close ties with Western powers. Closing of news this hour is a story from Australia where Prime Minister said the country considered the new coronavirus to be a pandemic Thursday, going a step beyond the WHO as he extended a travel ban on visitors from China. Announcing a national emergency response plan to the contagion, Scott Morrison said he was considering additional measures for monitoring travelers arriving in the country. The World Health Organization has stopped short of calling the virus a pandemic even as the number of new infections outside China exceed those inside the hardest hit country. More than 2,700 people have died in China and some 78,000 have been infected. There have been more than 50 deaths and 3,600 cases in dozens of other countries. And that's all we had for you this hour. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video.